All right, we got this uh, 9 by 12 section here. Um, gonna make this glow. It's uh, 9 by 12, so it's just real close to 100 square foot. So it looks like I'm gonna have to get this cleaned up and prep before I can do anything. So I will tune back in as soon as I get this all prepped. Okay, we got this all cleaned up. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure out, and I'm probably just gonna do a standard um, tile pattern so I'm gonna use painters tape and I'm gonna get this all taped out and then I'll show you the next step okay I got it all taped up and I kinda went with the I don't know it's kind of a different unique pattern here um, it works better if you break up the glow with um, you know like I said you know using tape because wherever you spray the glow um, that's what's gonna glow whatever's taped off will not glow so that'll stay dark at night so whatever pattern you decide to come up with um, anyway I'm gonna mix everything up now first off um, I'm just using a plastic weed sprayer um, make sure you use a new one and take the filter off you don't need that Okay, next, uh, is what we're going to want to do is, like I said, this is about 100 square foot. Um, you want to use roughly about a pound of the glow in the dark crystals, and you can see this stuff is really light and fluffy. So you want to use about a hundred or one pound per 100 square feet. You can go up to two pounds but I wouldn't exceed that. Okay. Then is what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to take that and you'll dump it into your sprayer. All right, once you got your Glytron crystals in your sprayer, add, um, we're gonna do a half a gallon of water. Once you get your uh, mixture all ready to go, um, like I said, it's just it's just the glytron crystals and water. Shake it up really good. Pump up your sprayer. And what you'll do is you'll just spray it uh, real light coats over the whole thing, and then you just keep putting it on until it's all gone. And once you first start spraying, you might have to adjust your spray pattern because you just want to mist it on like that. And just soak it down really good. Make sure to keep shaking it so it stays, you know, suspended and mixed up. And as what's going to happen is the water is going to carry this down into the crevices, cracks, and the pores of the concrete. So the bigger, uh, like say hypothetically the pores that are in the concrete, uh, the bigger pits and pores that you have and cracks, you're going to get a higher solid in them.
so them areas will be brighter. When you're spraying it, you're going to see it kind of getting white on you. That's heavy concentration. And I'm going uh, for actually maximum glow. And so it's basically so it's super bright. So I'm putting it on really heavy. Um, but like I said, you want to put it on roughly about uh, one pound per hundred square foot. And like I said, you can go up to 200. If you want a translucent, and when I say translucent, that'll be, um, you won't be able to see that it's even on there at all. Um, then you'd want to do about a half a pound per hundred square foot. The glow's not going to be as bright. It's definitely still going to glow. It's just not going to be as bright. Um, but you will not see it in the daytime. Um, It'll look just regular, other than the concrete sealer that you put over the top of it, which we'll go down that here in a little bit. Well, we're all out. So anyway, um, we're going to let this dry up for a couple hours now. And then I'll be back. Now, one of the things I need to point out, when you're getting a concrete sealer um, to use over the top of the Glytrom, make sure that it says acrylic. Um, acrylic polymer, acrylic base, something acrylic. Do not use silicates, siliconate, silane, silane siloxane, siloxane, uh, clear, but you can use any water base or solvent base acrylic so that's one thing that you got to make sure uh, number two when you do this method that i'm showing you make sure that your concrete wasn't previously sealed um, because that can cause an issue not only using the water method that i showed you but also the bond and adhesion of the sealer uh, the other point that I need to make, too, is before you do any of this, remember, Glytrom glows in the dark. So you've got to make sure you check for light pollution, street lights, uh, neighbor's lights, uh, yard lights, any kind of light pollution that you could possibly have. Because that will affect on how bright you will be able to see the Glytrom. Um, anyway, uh, just sitting here waiting for this to dry up and I'll be back in a bit. I'm just going to show you real quick. You can see how white and powdery. Like I said, I put this on extremely heavy because um, we want maximum glow on this. And you can see spots where it's still damp yet. So you want to make sure that's all 100% dried up. So if you just let this set for a good oh i don't know a few hours sun shining nice warm day it dries up fairly quick um, you just want to make sure though that it's 100 percent dry once it gets to that point then you can pull your tape off anytime well it's almost dried up just got a little spot here so i think about another hour give or take um it should be all ready to go one more thing i need to point out too so you guys know um not all glow crystals are the same so whether you use glytrom or whatever you use make sure that you look at their specs and in the fine print a lot of them out there just about every single one of them you cannot mix with water um, a lot of them specify you can mix it with a water base um, sealer or a solvent base but the odds are pretty good very 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 few and I've, I haven't come across any other than Glytrom that you can actually mix with just water so make sure whatever you buy you check out the specs on that to make sure you can mix it with water but anyway um, we just got this little spot left to dry 
and I will uh, I'm gonna use my same sprayer that I used to put down the Glytrom um, I'll use that for the sealer as well it is water based so just make sure that the um, your sprayer is cleaned out pretty good and don't worry about the crystals in it just make sure there's no um, you know a lot of water left in it or anything like that so so just make sure it's all cleaned out pretty decent anyway I'll be back in about an hour Oh, one more thing. Um, I did pull the tape. 90% of it was all dried up enough to where I got the tape all pulled off. So I was hoping it would kind of speed up this area over here to get that dried up and uh, make sure underneath the tape any moisture that's under there. So once you take the tape off, give it a good hour once you got the tape off as well. So any moisture that might have leached under the tape has a chance to uh, evaporate and dry up. Here's another little tip for you too. Um, before you pull your tape off, you'll see spots where, and I'm not worried about uniform because I like the, and you'll see when the sun goes down what I'm talking about. But you can see how some areas are really heavily concentrated and it's kind of lighter in other areas. Um, if you want a more of a uniform, before you pull your tape off, let it dry up and you'll see the areas where it isn't uh, um, doesn't have like equal coverage on it um, you can go ahead and once it dries up get back on it and then uh, you can kind of touch up the areas um, that aren't as uniform or have you know a high solid like some of these but like I said when you see it when the Sun goes down um, I kind of like that speckled some's darker some's lighter look so anyway, I just wanted to point that out. Okay, uh, we take a sealer. And we'll dump it right in the sprayer there. And probably use about a half a gallon. Um, so anyway, once you get in there, uh, get your lid on tight. Being as this is a sprayer that I previously used to apply the Glytrom, um, you just want to make sure you get it shook up because there will be glow crystals left in there, um, which is fine. It's not going to hurt nothing. So anyway, that's all shook up, ready to go. So we'll go over here to the project I'm doing and get it sprayed down. Okay, so what we're going to do is, um, we're going to go really light. We're just going to mist it on really light. And I'm going to do probably, well, at the bare minimum, probably two light coats. So what we're doing is, now that the crystals have got themselves embedded into the pores of the concrete, um, we need to lock them in place. And that's what the sealer does. So, I got this all shook up, ready to go. And, and you can walk on it, it's not going to hurt nothing. But you just want to put a really light coat on it just to get it wet looking. And don't worry about, you know, being too uniform. Um, because like I said, we're going to do a couple light coats on it. And that'll ensure that we got a good coverage on it. You don't, you don't want to put it on too heavy. Um, so we'll just do a couple light coats and once I get this done we'll let it dry up for oh probably I don't know about a half hour to an hour just as soon as it looks you know just till it looks dry again and then we'll hit another coat on it okay it's uh it's dried up enough for me to hit a second coat you just want to make sure that you don't have really heavy wet spots or anything because you don't want to be walking in that or you'll leave your shoe prints
And it looks like uh, that's all we're going to do is uh, two coats of the sealer. I will let it dry up and we'll come back tonight when the sun goes down.